Are we good? Mm -hmm. Sweet. Awesome. So, um, no questions. Any other questions about homework from let's do today? Uh, each one of those grade sets. It's because it's like K through two, I think, and then, or kindergarten, second grade, or third grade, there's only like that specific grade level. I only asked you for like three different grade levels, I think. Yeah. Right? Is yeah. kindergarten first, second, and third, fourth, fifth? Okay, so like a span of a couple of grade levels. Yeah. All right, that's fine with me. So remember, those are only the ones that are pertaining to what? Singing, right? Not playing instruments, not uh, responding to music through movement. You could justify it that way, but keep it simple, right? You know that acronym, KISS? Keep it simple, silly. That's a really good mantra to live by in this class, okay? Nothing too complicated. All right. Any other questions about the homework before we move on? Okay. So what I would like to do, we can do one of two things in class today. Um, we've got to hit some, uh, we've got to define melody later on today, which is really easy to do. It'll take about five minutes. Um, but I would like to, the last class chose to talk about their micro teaching that's next week and um, figure out how to create an ostinato to accompany a rhythmic poem, if that is something that you all are interested in. Is that okay that we do that? All right. <clears throat> this thing's going to break, and I'm going to be very angry about it. Right. How much are whiteboards? Are they expensive? I don't know. I know that they're way less expensive than that $7,000 drone set in the corner. So, you know, <laughs> priorities. Um, so, last week, I think, we did a poem called Up Like a Rocket. Do you remember that poem? Can we, uh, I'll just do it really quick and then you repeat it back to me. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Say that with me. One, two, ready. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Thumbs up if you can do that. Good. Here's what I would like for you to do. Uh, from Sarah, this group over here, these four wonderful people, will you please keep the steady beat? All right. Well, the rest of you clap the rhythm of the words. Okay? Here we go. One, two, and ready, go. Up, like a rocket, down, like a rock. Back and forth, like a two, two. Do that one more time. One. Two, and ready, go. Switch. Here we go. So the steady beat needs to be very quiet. One, two, and ready. Thumbs up. Here's what we need. How many lines of this poem do we have? And this is what I'm, I'm teaching you how I think, all right, as a teacher, and how I do this, this whole process. You know what that process is called, like in general education terms, teaching students or teaching other people how you think? Um, it's called metacognition. Have you heard of this term before? Have you heard of the term metacognition? And a really easy way to do that is that I'm going to teach a think aloud. And I will call it a think aloud in my classroom. And it's teaching them how to think through a process. So we're literally doing a think aloud today in class. <clears throat> or we're practicing metacognition, however you want to think about it. So I think to myself, how many lines of um, words are there in the poem? Four. There's four lines. And how many beats in each line? Up, like, go, rock, good. How many beats was there? Four. Okay. So here's the first line. Can you please figure that out in ta's and t's? You might have to clap the rhythm. Up, like, go, rock, good. Up, like, go, rock, good. 
So we have four beats, but we have more than four notes, right? How many notes do we have? Five. So, right, so one of them must be a tichi, and that's the way I would think about that. So, up like a rocket. What's the rhythm? Aaron, what's the rhythm? Do you know? How many beats? No, we have four beats in that line. What's the rhythm of the words in Taz and Cheeks? Up like a rocket. Yeah, good. So I would write that down like this. Yeah? What's the second line? What are the words for the second line, Natalie? Um, Up like a rock, good. Down like the rain. Down like the rain. So what is the rhythm of the second line? Down like the rain. Yeah, and how many beats do we have in that line? Four, but how many notes do we have? We have four notes, but we only sound on three beats. Down like the rain. What happens in that last beat? Yeah, there's a rest there. So I'm going to go ahead and put, here's beat one, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and put a rest right here. Okay? So what are the first three beats? Down like the rain. And Taz and T's. What are they, Tiffany? Ta, ta, ta. Down like the rain. That would be down like the. Ta, 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 chi, Ta, down like the rain. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta, right? Down like the rain. And I'm glad you did that because that's how you have to think about this process. Okay? So down like the rain. Rest. Are we good? Yeah? Thumbs up if we can move on. Cool. Third line is also how many beats? Four. All the poems that I gave you to do are all four beats long. Each line is four beats long. There's one, uh, uh, there's one poem called Pitter Patter Drip Drop Goes the Rain, and that is like double the length of the other poems. So, um, And if you pick that poem, we'll talk about it if you need to. So what's the rhythm of the third line? Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a. Figure out the rhythm of the third line. Back and forth like a. <coughs> What is it? Ta 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 ti ti ta. That would be back and forth like a. It's back and forth like a. Switch the last two. So it's ta 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 ti ti. Okay. Back and forth like a. And the last line is what? Choo choo train. Say that. Choo choo train. There's four beats there, right? So what's on the last beat? A rest. A rest. So I can go ahead and put that right over here. Yes? And what's the rhythm? What's the rhythm, Elizabeth? The same as two. No. Oh, it's just toss. Yeah. So it's what? Ta ta ta. Ta ta ta. Good. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> All right, so we have the rhythm of our poem down in our heads, all right? So this is all teacher stuff. This is all what I figured out in my own head, okay? Here's the next set, step in the process. I need to figure out a really good ostinato that would complement this rhythm, okay? And remember, an ostinato is used as an accompaniment figure in music, and it needs to complement the rhythm. So I don't want to have a lot of the same rhythm that's happening in the same, at like the same time. Also, there needs to be a rest in an ostinato somewhere to create a little bit of um, interest in the music. Because if my ostinato was uh, transportation, transportation, that's an ostinato, right? It repeats over and over and over again, and it fits the bill. Say the poem while I'll do my ostinato. One, two, and ready, go. Uh -huh. Transportation, 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 transportation. That would work. It's awful though, right? There's no musical interest there. Why would I have a steady beat accompaniment to my poem? You know? So I need to put a rest in there. If I did, so um, how many beats long do you want to make the ostinato? Our poem is 16 beats long. 
So we have a couple different options here. We can make it four or eight, because we have to repeat that at least twice for it to be considered an ostinato. So my suggestion to you is to make a four beat ostinato at first, okay? So remember we have to have some kind of rest in there. So how many beats do we have to work with? Four. Oh, well, if one of them's a rest, how many beats do we have three. to work with? Three. We have three beats left. Okay. So what rhythmic figure have we talked about that might be interesting to work with in those three beats? Let me rephrase that. Okay. We have three beats left. We need to fill those three beats with something. And they need to be different because we want to make it sound interesting. So I wouldn't say ta, 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 rest. Right? What could I do? I could do t, t, ta, t, t, ta, rest. That would work, right? How else could I make that interesting, Natalie? Can't you do like the half with the little dot afterwards? I could. That would be ta, rest, ta, rest, ta, rest. That wouldn't be very interesting. It would work, though. So I would say, um, what's the one? Train, train. I could do that. I don't think that would be interesting, though. Right? right. What would be interesting rhythmic figures? So I have a rest. Let's write that over here. There's a rest, right? How could I arrange some rhythms around that rest to make it interesting? Could you just do the opposite of the time? Sure, I could. Give me the opposite. T, T, for the top? I don't know. Right. Okay, Never we're mind. using it to complement this, right? What do you see? Here's a rest and here's a rest, right? So if the, if the poem has a rest in it, I want to fill that rest in with part of the ostinato to make it interesting. So I know that on beat four, I want to have some kind of sound in my ostinato. Sarah? So could you do like, start with a rest for the first line, like start rest and then ta, ta, t, t, or t, t. I could. Which one's the two? T, t, you're right. T, t, yeah, so ta, ta, t, t. So you want to put the rest at the beginning? Yeah, I mean. I mean Remember, we have four beats to work with here. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. So you said rest. Ta, ta, t, t. Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. We can do that. I'm going to say the ostinato while you all say the poem. One, two, poem, go. Ta, ta, t, t. Ta, ta, t, t. Ta, ta, t, t. Ta, ta, t, t. Does that feel good? It feels a little bit awkward at the beginning because it almost feels like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to start. So let's do one thing, and let's just switch that rest onto beat two or three. Oh. Where do you want it? Three. Okay, cool. So. Let's try that one. One, two, and ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. T T ta, ta. T T ta, ta. T T. That sounds much better. Mm -hmm. And I'm filling in this rest right here with something else. Also, look what happens right here. This right here matches up with these two lines, so it's not the same rhythmic figure. All right? OK. Now, I figured this out. This is what I want my ostinato to be. All right? Is, is that OK? okay? Is it OK that like those two, there's two um, ta-tas? Gosh, dang it, is that right? Tatas, and then it's the same as in like three and four? Um, you bring up a really good point. It might start to sound the same. Is there a way to switch this up where it might make a little bit more sense? Flip two and three. What? Flip two, Flip two and three? Okay. Ta, ta. T, 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 is that what I just had? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm awful. Let's try that again. Ta. Ta, T, T, Ta. Ta, T, T, Ta. Ta, T, T, Ta. Right? Here's my only complaint, is that on beat three, 
All of those are a ta. So couldn't you switch to TT with the ta then? I could. Four? Too many TT I could. But then the first two would be the same. Right. So what do we do? I mean, I really so what do we do? Win. What? You're never going to win. You will win. And there's a one really good answer for this. Make them all TTs. Okay. <laughs> but then what happens? But then they're still the same. There's one that's still the same. Yeah. That's better though. Oh wait, yeah. Make the last TT as Um. I could, because then it's only matching one, right? But it's the same thing. Well, so or should the, the third one be a ta? No, because all the all, all the third beat are tall, so I don't so, want that to happen. That looks better. Okay, it does look better. T T. Could you T -t -ta, do T T T T T T. Say the poem. One, two, and ready, go. T T. T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T for one specific reason. Okay? And I'll show you that here in a second. And I'm going to change this to a TT. So now I have some variety. Alright? So I can have a four syllable word here and a one syllable word here. With the rest in there. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. So as the teacher, I've already predetermined that this ostinato is going to fit with my poem really well. Let's try that. One, two, and ready, go. Ta. Like T T T T ta. T T T T ta. T T T T ta. T T T T. That sounds fairly good to me, because you want that strong beat at the beginning. Any one of the ones that you've come up with so far would work, as long as it, you fill in this rest. That would be acceptable to me in this class. This one's the best one for me as far as musical musicality goes. And I'll explain here in a second. Okay, so I've come to class with this already figured out. All right, I already know that this is exactly the way I want to do it. Now I'm in class and I'm teaching you, and we figured out the ta's and the t's. I need for you. What's the poem about? What's the poem about, Kelsey? Arts. What? The what's the poem about? The choo choo train. Transportation, I love that word. I'm going to write it down. Give me some other words that the poem's about. Space. What? Space. Remember we did this? Yeah. What else? Weather. Direction. Movement. Direction. Direction. What else? Speed. What else? Morgan, what else? Movement. Movement, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, we are all contributing right now. You're in my classroom. This is the experiential portion of my lesson. A student-generated word list. They're taking ownership somehow. And I already know what my ostinato is going to be, right? Transportation. Transportation and what? Space. Space, yeah, because transportation is how many syllables? And space is how many? Or we could do speed. Switch or speed up. or whatever. Yeah, any one syllable word would work. Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I tell them that I already knew that this was going to be the answer? No. I do that all the time, even with you. I already know exactly what the answer is going to be, and I lead you to it. But you figure that out how? As a group or class. So, here's space, transportation. Let's say, say this off another. One, two, and ready, go. Space, space. Transportation, transportation, space. Transportation, space. Transportation, space. Good. Tiffany, over. Say the ostinato. Skylar, over. Say the poem. Ostinato first. One, two, and ready, go. Space. Transportation, space. Transportation, space. When am I going to start the poem? Keep that going. Space. Transportation. When they say space. space. When they say space. Transportation what? Space. 
<laughs> when they say space. And that's why I wanted, yeah, and so like, no, here's the deal though. I'm glad you're talking about it. Keep it going. Keep it going. Transportation space. Transportation space. Keep it going. Transportation space. One, two, ready. Up. Like a rock. And stop. Okay, now you come up here and do that. Me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is one of the main. This is one of the main pitfalls of this next micro teach is that a lot of people use an ostinato in their micro teach, but they never start them correctly. Okay, and you know when to start, right? Yeah. When they say what? Space. Okay, cool. So how are you going to prepare your students to start? Um. Typically, here's what happens. You ready for this? I'm going to model what happens in my nine other classes that I taught. Here we go. One, ready. Space. Transportation space. Transportation space. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here's the way you should do it. One, two, ready. Space. space. Transportation space. Transportation space. Transportation space. One, two, ready. Transportation space. Transportation space. Okay. So now you try that. Alright guys, uh, I don't like this at all, I hate this. <laughs> okay. Welcome to next week though. Yeah, right? Yeah, good well, preparation. At least Morgan will be up here with me, I won't be yeah. alone. Yeah, I'm up here with you. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, one, two, ready, go. Thanks. Transportation space. That's much better than... Transportation space. <laughs> okay. Transportation space. Alright, hang on. Transportation space. Transportation space. One, two, ready. Transportation space. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, this is where, like, yeah. And, like, and like the reason I'm taking you is because... I know, that was right. But here's the deal. You were back there like, start now! Like, and so that's, like, and I just want to say that, like, yes, it makes sense from their perspective. Yeah. But, like, to get them all to start together, you really have to figure out exactly how yeah. those two fit, like, parts fit and complement each other. I will help you. Here we go. You ready? Yes. Let's start. You start. All right. Uh, one, two, ready, go. Space. Transportation space. Transportation space. One, two, ready, go. Up. Transportation space. Transportation Good. Okay. Cool. Now, when Morgan's up here, come here, Morgan. The two Morgans will be up here together. Here we go. Woo. What do you want, ostinato or poem, Morgan? Ostinato. Cool. Get over here with the ostinato then. Cool. Yeah, start the ostinato off. One, two, and ready, go. Space. Now you start off. Space. She's good. Space. All right. Yeah. So now the other Morgan. Let's go. Transportation space. One, two, ready, Transportation go. Transportation space. Perfect. Yes. Good. Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes. Good. Yay. Okay. No, you have a seat. Thank you. That's exactly what happens. But inevitably, a group's going to get up here, and they're going to go like this. The first way that I showed you. Yeah. Or this way. This shit. Oh. Come up here, Natalie. Come up here. <laughs> Start the astronaut off. Okay. One, two, ready, go. Space. Transportation space. Transportation space. Transportation space. Up <laughs> <laughs> like Yeah, it's like like you have to be sure, both partners have to be sure about what's happening. Oh, you really Okay, I was like looking at you like, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, try that again. Try that again. One, two, ready, go. Space. Transportation space. Transportation space. Oh, yeah, okay. See, like, but you have to make sure that you're able to say that with your partner while you're practicing these poems. If you choose to do an ostinato. You can have a seat. Thank you. So, if I am teaching an ostinato for... No. A lot of people do, though, because that's a really good way to figure out experiential <coughs> learning. Or, let's talk about that process right now. You only have seven to ten minutes. It must be seven. It can be no longer than ten minutes to do this in. All right? So your job is to teach a rhythmic poem and have some kind of experiential component to the lesson. What other activities could you do to have experiential learning within the context of this lesson. Mary, listen. Have them make up their own movements or their own ways to like, do the beat. Sure. Okay. So stand up, please. Put your stuff down. 
I need to hold up a number. Ones, twos, threes, and fours. Go. Sorry, guys. How many lines of the poem do we have? Four. Fantastic. Good job. We have four lines of the poem. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Your job is to come up with some kind of movement to help you remember the words. Go. Oh, good. Yeah, cool. Go. You got one already? You do? Okay. Down like the rain. I love it. Back and forth like a cha-cha over here. Good. Yes. Okay. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Okay, let's try that one more time. Everybody do everybody else's part. One, two, and red. By the way, it's inevitable. These are all the, always the motions. Okay? These are always the motions with this poem. That's why I can do them with you. One, two, and ready, go. Up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Cool. Have a seat. Here's the deal. How much time did that take up? Like, no, less than that. About one minute, right? So if that's going to be the experiential portion of your lesson, and you're going to try and teach the rest of the six minutes, just the poem, it's not going to work. OK? So if you want that to be the experiential portion of your lesson, that's totally fine with me. I'm fine. But keep in mind that you have seven minutes to teach, and you're teaching adults. Because I would never teach a rhythmic poem like this in seven to ten minutes to a first grade class. It would take me a half an hour to do. And I would do several different things within the context of that half an hour. But in here, you are teaching adults, which means that you must understand that they're going to move really fast. So have at least three or four different things to do. So that's why I'm suggesting an ostinato. And you come to class already with one prepared. And you don't have to come up with a student-generated one. You can just say, here's an ostinato that I'm going to teach you. All right? Make sense? Uh, other ideas. Do you have a question? Yeah. Um, since we're teaching adults or whatever, are we supposed to be teaching like their elementary students? Though? Yes, you are. Okay. But keep in mind that they are going to be very fast, precocious okay. second graders. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, Catching on real quick. Yeah. yeah. They're gonna <laughs> yeah. Catching on real quick. Okay. okay? <laughs> yes. So um, yeah. So you might want to make sure that you have lots of different activities planned for this class, because you still have that time constraint. Okay. All right? Other ideas for teaching next week? Experiential ideas. So we've come up with a movement. We've created an astronaut using a student-generated word list. What else could you do? Do you use instruments? Um, you could use instruments. How is that going to be experiential? Like those little sticks. OK, how is that going to be experiential? <laughs> like, how is that going to be experiential? Experiencing the beat. You're playing the rhythm, right, but you're not, how are they solving a problem? They're not. Right. How are they solving a problem when I have them come up with their own moves? They're coming up with moves. Right, they're coming up with moves because they have to take the words, synthesize that, and make a movement for the poem. It seems very easy to you all to do that, right? But for like second graders or first graders, that's developmentally appropriate. Could they walk in? Okay, and how would you present the information for that to be experiential? Well, you, you would show them it, and then they would walk them. Have to have them. Like, they would have to, like, show that they're, they know that Ta is walking. T.T. is tiptoe. Tip -toe. Okay, yes. Yeah, I know where you're going. <laughs> you need to take it one step further. Okay? So they already know what walk and tiptoe is by the time they're in first or second grade in my classroom. And so do you all, right? You now know what walk and tiptoe is in that classroom right now. So you don't have to go over that, OK? And in fact, I would discourage you from doing that, because I'm going to be like, well, you're reviewing a concept that they already know. You're not teaching them anything new, all right? So to make it experiential, how would you do that? You can use walk and tiptoe. And I, I would encourage you to do that, too. That's another option. Sarah? Would you have them figure out where the walk 
Yeah. And I wouldn't write this rhythm on the board. I would just be teaching the poem. And I would say, divide into groups. We have four different lines, up like a racket, down, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. Figure that part out and walk some tiptoes. Now show the class. Now everyone learned walk and tiptoes for the whole poem. Boom. There's your activity, right? So I taught the poem. I had them do walks and tiptoes. And then we say the poem all together as we walk and tiptoe. Are we supposed to, sorry, are we supposed to be like a lot of I would love it if you would do a lot of different things. So we could do the walks and tiptoes, the ostinato, the movements, like... Yes, but you have to be able to facilitate that in 7 to 10 minutes. Okay. So I would recommend practicing if you're going to use all those activities. That's fine with me. Okay. Because I could come up with an, uh, space. Let's just do the whole lesson really quick. Are you ready for it? Here's, come, put me in a circle. Let's go. Come on. We're going to do the whole lesson really quick. In 7 to 10 minutes. I have time. So it's 9.35 right now, uh, come join me in the circle please, you can move around this way, perfect, just leave some space for the camera, and here's what I need for you to do, repeat after me, up like a rocket, up like a rocket, down like the rain, down like the rain, back and forth like a, back and forth like a, choo choo train, we're right. Choose, choose, train. Repeat after me. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Repeat after me. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Good. Okay, so I just did three things. I modeled, I chumped, and I chained. Sounds like an awful, like, <laughs> CrossFit exercise, right? <laughs> so, like, uh, I took the information and I chunked it down into very small bits. So I did small bit, repeat, small bit, repeat, small bit, repeat. Yes? And then I chained those. First and second, repeat. Third and fourth, repeat. Then I modeled what I wanted. All the way through. There we go. Okay, so, uh, ones, twos, threes, fours, here we go, ready? Uh, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train. I need for you to figure that out in toss and tease, please go. Yeah, and it's already written, so it's, it's fine, yeah. Okay, and that'll take about 30 seconds, right, for this group. Okay, we've already done that today, but that'll take about 30 seconds. Give me a thumbs up if you can do it in toss and tees. I need for you to figure that out in walks and tiptoes. Go. Walk, tiptoes. Thumbs up if you can do that. That would take about how long? 30 seconds. Yeah? Okay. What? So, yeah, one minute. Yeah, well... Or more than one minute because we've had to learn no, the poem. You said 30 seconds. Yeah. Yes, one minute. Thank you. So, can we see this group do the first line? One, two, walk and tiptoe. Say the poem while you do it. One, two, and ready, go. Up like a rocket. Down like the rain. Back and forth like a two, two. Okay, let's have these two groups do it together really quick while you all watch. All right, so do your parts. One, two, and ready, go. Up, up. like a rocket, down like a rain. Can you all do those two parts? One, two, and ready, go. Up, like a rocket, down like a rain. Good, let's tie it back and forth. One, two, and show me, go. Back and oh, forth. Oh, I was so confused with Ready, go. Back and forth like a two, two, two. Can you all do that part? One, two, and back and forth. Back and forth like a choo choo. Try it again. Back and forth like a choo choo. Everyone try the whole thing and walks on tiptoes. And let's go around the circle this time instead of towards the center because I have personal space issues. So face this way and walk this way. And, yeah, there you go. One, two, and ready, go. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Whoa, I see lots of people moving during a certain thing that happens. Yeah, I see a lot of people going like this. Up like a rocket, 
down like the rain. Back. <laughs> yeah, so during a rest, we have a moment of silence. Here we go. One, two, and ready, go. Up. Like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo. Good job. OK, so repeat after me. Space. Transportation 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 space. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Transportation back and forth like a choo choo. Transportation space. Transportation space. Transportation space. Up like a rocket, down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo choo train. Stop. And then I could say, um, they need to see this wonderful, wonderful human being. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, space and <laughs> transportation. Yeah. Um, get out of my space. Um, so because I've already taught you the words for the poem and the ostinato today, we move through that very quickly. But it's already five minutes. I've already spent five minutes on this activity. Just doing those three things. So keep in mind that you're going to be teaching adults. So doing that, you're going to be able to facilitate that a lot faster. Okay, but it's still going to take some time to teach them the words and the ostinato or how to put it all together. So that's up to you and your partner. You can have a seat now. Thank you. Any other questions about your uh, micro teach next week? Yeah, do you have like a assigned time of when we're all going or anything or no? Mm. Are we just getting here and you're like, oh, who's going? Get up there and go. I mean, it's, Monday. it's Monday and Wednesday. <laughs> both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> both the days in our class. Remember, we have seven to ten minutes to do these in. So if we have eight different groups, that's eighty minutes of worth of content that I have allotted for. So it's two days. Okay. Um, here's the deal. You, I will know the order that you're going in, but you will not. Okay. All right? So you will come on Monday prepared to micro-teach, and I will randomize your groups. And I could say, like, the Sarahs are going, and now the Morgans are going, and, you know, that sort of thing. Okay? So, any other questions about that for next week? Okay. Remember, we will have some time on Friday to work with your partner and ask me questions. I will not tell you how to say your poem. That's something for you to figure out, just like we did here today. I will not teach you how to do an ostinato. That was why this lesson was here today. But if you have questions like, does this sound experiential or not, and I could say, maybe take it that direction or that direction, I will totally and willingly help you do that. Or if you have any questions about how to present information. Okay? So let's completely switch gears really quick. And okay, so um, before we get started with this, let's kind of review a little bit. Please hold up your hand like this. The second line up from the bottom on the staff is always what note? G. G. It will always and forevermore be G. And remember our musical alphabet song? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. 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 There are seven letters in our musical alphabet. That's the only time. Okay. And then backwards is G, F, E, D, C, B, A. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Keep in mind that if the melody or the notes are going up, I'm going to move forward in the alphabet. If the notes are going down, I move backwards in the alphabet. Thumbs up if you get that concept. If the notes are getting higher, you move forward in the alphabet, from A to B to C. If the notes are getting lower, you move backwards from A to G to F. OK? Think of it like this. You're giving me like a weird look. You just blew my world right there. <laughs> OK. Think about it like this. Here's G. Okay, here's G. One note above G is what in our musical alphabet? A. 
So if the notes are getting higher, I move forward in my alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. If the notes are getting lower, I move how? Backwards. G, F, E, D, C. Okay? okay? That's all I'm doing. I'm moving forwards and backwards. That's all it is. By the way, those were not the right note names. Okay? Could you so, put that G on there? On the yes. Line? So look, right here. So G is always the second line up from the bottom. Is it, uh, does G always start on the line, above the line, below the line? Always, always on the line. On the line. Note okay. muncher, remember our note muncher? Um, so yeah. then one okay. up, like so. on top of, okay. Yeah. <laughs> on top of that line would be, uh, wait, A, B, 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 A. A, yeah. Okay. Yes. On top of so that. So look, okay. this is this is between two lines. It's in the so space. That's, that's an A. That's an A. Correct. And then the next one's a C. The next space? No, but the next note that's on there would be a C. Y yes. And we're going to figure this out here in a second. You've got oh, this. Okay. All right? So let's review okay. here really quick. Okay? So this is G. Okay, if I have a note that is in, where's my blue marker? By the way, now that we're getting to singing, I'm going to be singing everything to you. Um, sorry about that. All right. All right, so what space is this in? Can you see? Can you all see? You might want to move if you can't, just because this might be important for your grade. Um, so what space is this in? Remember, how many spaces do we have? We have six spaces, one below the last line, one, two, three, four, five, and six, one above the top line, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. What space is this in, Kelsey? Um, yeah, it is a C, good. What space is it in? Um, one through six, which one is it in? Oh. One through six. This is one, this is six. What space is it in? One, two, three, four, five, six. Which space? Oh, the note. I thought you were saying where you were pointing. No, Sorry. which, yeah. which space four. is the note in? It's in space four. Look what she's talking about. Hold up your hand. One, two, three, four. Where are we going to stop when we count up? Six. Where, no. What space? In between what two fingers? Your index and your middle finger. Okay, so let's start on G and count up. We're going to stop here. We're going to start on G. Count up with me. G, A, B, C. So we know that the notes that are in this fourth space right here are always going to be what? C. Always going to be C. I see a lot of confused faces. Do you understand this? Yeah. Okay, here's another one. I'm trying to give you as many tools as possible to figure out what these note names are. Okay, before you figure out and start pointing, watch, Sarah. What line is this on? One, two, three, four, or five? Five. Five, good. So we're going to stop on our thumb. thumb. We're going to start on our ring finger because that ring finger is always what? G. G, good. G. A, B, C, D, E, F. So what note is that on the top space or top line? It's an F. And that's how you figure these out. That's all reading music is. Let's go to another one. What space is this on, Morgan? The first space, so down here. So we're going to, down here. So we're going to stop right here, yes? So let's count backwards. Remember, we're going lower than G, so we have to count backwards in our alphabet, yes? G, F, E. D. So we know that this note right below this bottom line in the space is what? D. D. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Why is this G? Because your hand looks like this. Or like this. It doesn't matter. Okay, so, but wouldn't it be A, B, C, D? No. This is always what? G. It's always G. Okay, so that's just like a thing. That's always G. Remember how I said that this right here is called a treble clef? <laughs> But it's also called a G clef because this curly cue is wrapped around that second line. Okay. That's set, that curly cue is wrapped around your ring finger. And then everything just goes around. Everything's that. that's your point of reference. Okay. Okay. A lot of people start with middle C, which is one step below this D right here, and go up. It's really confusing for me. Yeah. 
So the G just, makes sense. I just didn't know why the heck. Why? Okay, that's because yeah. why. That's why. Okay. All right. Because this curly Q wraps around you the G. You said so. That makes sense. Yeah, I said so. <laughs> okay. 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 So um, here's the deal. I have some words up here on the board. <laughs> this is a word. This is a word. This is a word, and that's a word. Can you figure those out? Go really quick with your partner. What? Ace. It's a word. So this first word is what? Ace. Ace, because we know that this is what? A. It's in the third space, A, and then we stop on the fifth space, B, C, D, E, C, and then we go, oh, that's stupid. So C, next space up, right? And then that one. So that's how you do those. What's this word down here? Added. Added, right. So it's A, D, D, E, D. Okay. Here's the deal. I can, I can read, this is a language that you are just now learning. Music is a language. It is full of weird abstract symbols. Imagine trying to learn Mandarin. Seriously, think about learning Mandarin and every word has a what? A different symbol. And depending on how you draw that symbol, it has different meaning. Same thing here. Don't expect to be automatically amazing at this. You have to practice, okay? Music is a language. Now here's what I would like to do. I would like to play added for you. I would like to play added for you. Are you ready? That's not a melody because these pitches do not belong together. A melody is a collection of notes that are perceived as belonging together. Okay? That's a really good definition. A collection of notes that are perceived to belong together. That's going to be on your midterm. Okay? It is the singable portion of the music. And I will give you an example. Sing along with me, please. Go, ready? Sing along, here we go. You can. Here we go, now sing along. Here we go, two, and ready, go. So harmony serves to support the melody, okay? You can't sing along to harmony unless there are more than one person singing at the same time. All right, and we're going to go over melody a lot more as we go through the class. Yes, ma'am. How do you decide what's a melody? Because I've been in choir for a long time, and I mean, sang some pretty strange melodies. Like, I don't know. Like, how do you decide? I understand. So, um, how do you a lot of it is subjective. Yes. Yes. Um, and you can start packing up your things because it is time to go. Uh, Melody are, melodies are, a collection of notes that are perceived as belonging together. Okay? So however you harmonically structure what's underneath those notes, or around those notes, determines what that melody could be. Alright? You can have a lot of different melodies. But I'm just saying that in a specific like, piece of music added could have. Okay. Could have. It could have. If I harmonized it yeah. the correct way. Yeah. Okay. It could have been. Not in here. Okay. All right? Not in this class. Not for your purposes. Okay. okay? That's all. Right. And you all can go whenever. I'm sorry. Um, have a great day. I'll see you on Friday. Make sure you bring your recorders. I don't know. I will. Oh, oh. So you I can stop for me. Somebody. Okay. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> Pitter-patter drip drop goes the rain, all day long it runs the same. Pitter-patter drip drop goes the rain.